Hey everybody, welcome to Nation. My name is Jersey, and you are here. Welcome to another wonderful week of awesomeness. Um, if it's your first time here, thanks for checking us out. I hope that it does not suck, and I hope that you want to check out more episodes. Uh, this is episode 51, so we've done an entire year's worth of them to go back and listen or watch. Most importantly, go ahead and give us a thumbs up or subscribe, uh, comment, review, all that fun stuff. Um, this is going to be available via iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, uh, all of those, and on YouTube, so you can watch or listen or do both. So check it out. Definitely appreciate it. And if you are one of the cool kids, if you are part of the nation, somebody who watches every episode or listens on iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, all those fun venues, what's going on? It is because of you that I get to do the show. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I have something uh, important to ask of you. Anybody who listens to the show, watches the show, any of that, if you find value in this show and you think it's semi-helpful or at least a good waste of time, Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and share all of this content. Now, here's the thing. Being that we're done with the first year, I want to do a second year, but I want to see from you guys if that's something that you want. Do you want me to do a second year of Nation? If so, give me a thumbs up on YouTube. If not, give me a thumbs down and I'll get the message. But hopefully it's good and we get to do another year of this. So. Either way, do that. I very, very much appreciate it, and you guys are really, really awesome. If you are one of the elite, if you are one of the awesome people who watch and listen to every episode, and they give us a thumbs up, and you order your supplies through me, being a, a rep with Window Cleaning Resource, then thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really it is because of you that I get to make a car payment. So thanks. That's pretty awesome. Uh, no, really, genuinely, uh, guys and girls have come out of the woodwork, and um, you guys are letting me put your orders in for you. You got it in your cart. You're calling me up. You're saying, hey, put it in. I want you to get credit. That's so stinking awesome. I really, really appreciate that. And I'm there for questions. I want to be your rep. Really, genuinely, that's what I do. It's what I'm passionate about. So please, my number, 862 312 2026. That is my cell. So text me on that number or call or vox me or Facebook message me and I'll be sure to help you out. Um, I just want to say thanks first and foremost to that. Like I said, if you are one of the elite also, thumbs up if you want me to do a second year. Thumbs down if you don't on YouTube. On this video is genuinely appreciated either way. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for doing all that. All right, so uh, this week, our winner for the YouTube comments is Cameron Clark. What's going on, man? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. You are the winner of the $50 credit for Window Cleaning Resource and the swag bag. That's the sticker pack, the t-shirts, the um, uh, Ed Array pin. It's the whole thing. All you need to do is just shoot me your email. Uh, or I'm sorry, email me your address and I can get that out to you. Josh at windowcleaningresource.com. Uh, if you want to win a credit and a swag bag, all you got to do is comment on the YouTube video. Comment. Also, if you're listening to iTunes, con or, uh, review on iTunes and that will also allow you to be entered into that. So either way, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it uh, for everybody watching and listening. Couple shout outs I want to give uh, this week is first, Chaz Miller. What's going on, man? What's up, Chaz? Uh, Jeremiah Green, another one. Uh, what's up, Jeremiah? He's everywhere. You see his comments. Um, I love it. And William uh, Heinrich. Hope I said your name right. Sorry. What's up, Bill? Uh, definitely appreciate you guys too. Uh, so thanks for watching and checking us out. Um, Real quick, not to upset certain person who watches or listens to the show, take it too long, but I gotta hit the convention one more time. I have my plans, I know what I'm getting in, I got all that stuff set up, and early next week we are going over our business meeting for the huge convention. It's coming up, it seems like it's a ways away, but it's not really. It's in August, it's the 23rd and 24th of August in Atlanta this year. 
It's at the Atlanta Marquis um, Marriott. Atlanta Marriott Marquis. Amazing. Place is crazy awesome. Um, go. Go and buy your tickets right now. The software uh, uh, conference is before that too. So if you're into software, you want to learn all about the software stuff, get a ticket to that too. You can piggyback them together. It's really, really good. Um, my homeboy, uh, Curtis Kempton, is going to be there. Just a whole bunch of people. I'm not even going to name names. Check it out. It's awesome. Uh, get your tickets for that. I'm getting in on Tuesday. Uh, and between everything, I will be there that entire week until Sunday. So it's going to be awesome. Awesome. So uh, definitely check that out. Uh, I'm even bringing Mrs. Jersey and the kids so that they can go and do their thing, you know. But either way, um, I appreciate uh, anybody that I meet there too. So we'll say hi and what's up. So today we are going to be talking about focus. And as you hear in the background, I forgot to turn my phone off and it's hard to focus because I have this all going off in the background being crazy. So I apologize for that in advance, but focus is huge in business. Now, here's the thing when it comes to focus, okay? Focus is one of those things that everybody says that they have, but yet nobody checks up on their focus. So nobody focuses on the act of focusing, okay? Raise my chair up a little bit here. It sounds so stupid, it really, really does. But focus itself is huge for a business because here's the thing. You and I both do window cleaning, pressure washing, gutter cleaning, roof cleaning, screen repair maybe, carpet cleaning maybe. Right? We do so many things, and then in every one of those services, we do that for route, we do it for residential, we do it for commercial. And it's very hard to get your focus on the overall company as opposed to dialing it in. And the cheesy kind of, um, uh, I guess, I don't, here, listen, so if you focus like a laser, you can shoot a little beam of light very far away because you're focused. If you don't, you're like a floodlight. You can shine light on a whole bunch of stuff, but only close, not very far away. It's the same thing with your focus. If you focus on your entire company, well, that's cool, right? I mean, you need to look at your entire company. That's great. But if you don't focus down on the individual pieces that you want to increase, then you're not allowing yourself to put all that effort concentrated into one area, right? It's like a hammer. A hammer concentrates all that swing force into just the head, and it forces that. So you can pound nails into wood. You can pound nails into concrete. You can do a lot of things with a hammer because it focuses all that energy. And that's what you need to do. And a lot of people forget to focus their energy on one, different, one part of their business as opposed to everything. Let me give you an example. So about, uh, let's see, six years ago, I decided I wanted to focus on pressure washing. We had the pressure washing stuff. We were getting out of fleet cleaning. I wanted to do house cleaning, uh, house washing, right? That was what I wanted to start focusing on. The window cleaning side of things were rolling. I wanted to focus on houses. So to break everything down, it changes everything on your focus, right? If you focus on roof cleaning, which I did about three years ago, um, then everything, your energy goes to that one thing. Now, I took a company. Now, again, I'm a nobody. I'm just some guy with a mic and a light in the computer, right? But I took that and I uh, tripled, just over tripled our uh, house wash rate within about two months, uh, our total clientele. And then we'd already been doing it. It wasn't just like, oh, I did one house and now I did four houses or three houses or whatever. That's not what happened. We had a great business where one crew ran um, maybe every two, two days worth a week. Uh, we went to a, uh, over a full week worth of work. Now, that is something that you can do, anybody can do if they focus on one piece. Now, when you focus, the big thing is to not lose sight on everything else. But if you focus every aspect of that one individual thing, you can create 
a calendar, right? Or a plan that's calendrical, whatever, calendarized, that you could focus on. Uh, it's huge to be able to do that. So find something in your business right now that is either lacking, that you want to make stronger, or that makes you a ton of money that you want to make more. Now, we all know in business that roof cleaning is the highest per hour rate job that we do. If you think I'm wrong, comment down below. But that is it. I mean, for us, our minimum is like 251, 253, something like that. That's our minimum hourly per man on roof cleaning. Now, I get it, okay? I get that you can't always do roofs. And I get that uh, when you do a good job, you don't do a roof every month or every three months or every six months. You do it like every five years. But the hourly for that particular job is huge. Now, we also know that you need to educate a ton more on roof cleaning because it's not a thing. Window cleaning, people know. Uh, yeah, we're going to clean your windows. Okay, great. They're going to be clean. I can see through them. Uh, we're going to wash your house. Okay, great. Well, obviously, there's dirt on my house. We're going to clean your roof. You're going to do what? You have to educate more. So there's more work. But if you focus on roof cleaning because of the hourly and that's what you want to increase, now you can focus on how you're uh, adver advertising, how you're educating, how you're scheduling, how you're doing the roof cleaning. You can focus on every piece of that individually to grow that one sector. Now, there's only 100% of yourself. There is. Even if you're the most awesome and most epic person, there's still only 100% of you, 100% of your time. If you're focusing on everything, all of those services we named before, uh, windows, uh, roof cleaning, pressure washing, um, gutter cleaning, screen repair, whatever. If you're focusing all of those on the five, you can only give each one equally 20% of your time. So you're only going to be focusing and giving if roof cleaning. If you're focused on everything, you're only giving roof cleaning 20% of yourself to try to increase it. That's not that great. It's just not that great. 20% is good if you're doing an overall. But if you have a sector or a piece of your company you want to increase or be better at or make more money or efficient or whatever, you got to focus. So taking that and taking now, say, 90 total percent and focusing on roof cleaning, you're going to grow that thing huge compared to what you would have at 20%, right? That's pretty simple math. I'm not a mathematician, but that is, uh, that's how it works. Now, I say 90%. Because one thing that people do, and I've seen done, unfortunately, is that when people focus, they forget about everything else that they're doing. And they focus only on one and let everything else fall. Now, your business, depending on what stage you are, you're probably up and running and you probably could back away from things for uh, you know a couple months and you'd probably still run. But... It's like driving. You're looking right ahead of you, but you're always checking your mirrors to see what's behind you, to see what's next to you, to see what's off to the sides. All of your focus is not just in front of you, but a lot of it is. It's the same thing with business. Is you have to focus, dial things in, but you can't lose sight of everything else. So making sure that you're still giving the time to keep up everything else is still huge. Now, Window cleaning in general is a lot of the times people's first go, right? They start a window cleaning and then they add a bunch of stuff. Or you may be a pressure washer who started pressure washing and you add a bunch of other stuff. So whatever you started with is probably up and running a lot smoother and uh, the ball is rolling a lot quicker than the other pieces. That's awesome. You may not have to focus that extra 10% off the top. Maybe you don't need to give that but 1% right? But make sure that you're still looking at it so that there's not a fire and that you just don't notice. So when you focus, make sure it's not all of it. Contradictory to what I'm saying, but you get what I'm saying. Whatever it is that you're going to focus on, you have to first off figure out, like I said, what it is. Then you need to find out why you're focused on it. Now, again, with roof cleaning, roof cleaning is an easy dollar, okay? You spray some stuff, you water their roof, basically. And you make great money. But why do you want to do that? Well, I want to be able to have one crew making that $250 an hour 
Because if you're paying someone commission, they don't even need to be 40 hours to make a great amount of money, right? But if they are 40 hours, you're making a ton of money, they're making a ton of money, and it's awesome, right? The focus may be on the money, so then focusing on why, it helps you understand what you are focusing on, the part of it, you know? So, again, roof cleaning, we all know you make more money that way. If you're focused on it, that's the why. You got the what, which is window cl- or roof cleaning. You got the why, which is the money side of it. And now you got to find out the how. How are you going to focus on it? How are you going to increase it? What are you going to do? Now, we know in business, in general, there's a lot of different things that go into making this whole kind of project go. That's the advertising. It's the referrals. It's the satisfaction side of things. It's the efficiency side of things. It's all of that. So say I wanted to focus on roof cleaning. I'm going to look at roof cleaning and first start off with the how to get things in the door and jobs in the door. Then I can focus on the efficiency, the equipment, all that fun stuff. But I want to look at it and go, how am I going to get people in? Well, right now Facebook advertising is hot. Roof cleaning has amazing pictures because people don't know what it is. If you say it's an algae or lichens or moss, they're going, oh, okay. But if you show them a picture of a dirty roof next to a picture of the same roof clean, that's your education. People understand. A book's worth a thousand, or what, a picture's worth a thousand words. There you go. You got two of them, 2,000 words. That's pretty dang good. But no, if you put that into an ad, a side-by-side, you don't have to say as much. Okay? When you're advertising, especially something like that, you don't need to put, well, the scientific term is this. and You don't have to do all that. But what you do, put it up there, put the pictures in, get that marketing out there, get maybe some flyers so you can hand out when you're in a bad area, postcards. I love handing out 4 by 6 postcards. They don't mail through EDDM, so don't plan on that. But I print up two-sided full gloss 4 by 6 postcards or door hangers or whatever you want. Door hangers are usually one-sided, so I stick with them postcards go ahead and anytime your guys or girls that are out in the field or you are and you see dirty roofs you advertise to them roof cleaning of all things is one of the easiest to advertise to because you can see it from afar you if you see windows are dirty from driving past you don't even want that job they're going to be horrible right and siding's the same way they've let the house go maybe they need it but you're not going to be charging that much extra because it's that bad With roofs, you can see when it gets to that point. People don't know that you even need to clean it. So the education side comes back in. Pictures, right? Now I'm focused on how to get jobs in the door, and I'm focused on how to increase that. I got Facebook ads. I got postcards. I have stuffers for everything else, right? Now I have that. As the jobs start coming in, now I can focus on the efficiency side of things. Well, okay. What's my SH cost? Is there something I can find that's a little bit lower? Uh, is there something that I can find that's a little better quality? Is there a surfactant, something like fresh wash you can put in there that'll help kind of, you know, increase everything, make it stick, make it work better? What kind of equipment am I using? Am I running a 12 volt? Am I running a gas? Am I, well, how am I, how am I actually getting it on the roof? Now you're working the efficiencies, right? But you're still focused on that. If you can do a job in one hour as compared to two hours, You've doubled your money, right? That's crazy. You doubled your money by doing nothing other than making it more efficient. So now if you're focused on that side of things and you want to make more money, now you can do more jobs in a day. You can pay your staff less. You can have a crew out there for less time, more time to fill by building the efficiency side of it, right? But we're still focused on the what, which is roof cleaning. So now I'm getting the jobs in, I'm increasing that, and I'm continuing to go, and I'm continuing to build. Maybe my focus point will be one month. Maybe it'll be two months. Whatever it is, I'm going to have that scheduled and set up, and that's what I'm always going to be going for, like getting it in the door, building the efficiencies. Maybe it's training. Maybe whatever it is that you need or lack to build that efficiency is going to be it. Now, I've said this before, but I'm a huge fan of scheduling calendar um, uh, google sheets building up spreadsheets so i can track things i have uh, uh, tickers if you will or spreadsheets for um, income that is down to the day 
So I know exactly what I need to make in that day to meet my yearly goal. And that's all based on percentages of business uh, for that month. Not just going, well, there's, I need this much divided by 365 because that's not going to be, if you're on January 1st, you're not going to be making that amount of money that you think you are. And if you're in right now, May 15th, you're not going to be making that amount either. So getting that dialed in is huge. And you can set it up, like I said, if you're going to be doing this for, we'll say one month, one month is a good amount of time for focus. You can then the next month go and do uh, focus on something else that you may be lacking on or do it for a second month. But say I want to go ahead and increase my business. I want to double my roof cleaning side of things. I can break that down for that month or for that year and break it down to the month, and then break the month down to the week, and week down to a day, and everything. You can get down as, as much as you want. You guys know Chrissy Lambo, uh, Chris Lamborghinis. He's huge in numbers, right? He's that guy. If you read the book, uh, that's what it is, numbers. He knows everything. If you call him right now and be like, hey, I got a question on this, he'll tell you the numbers in two seconds. And that's great to know the numbers, but the way that the where the way that uh, goals can be achieved through numbers is to know what you need to do every day. If you just put it out there for a month, well, in one month I need to do this. You don't know if you're on track until the month is over. You're either on track or you're off track. Mm -hmm. Okay. So focus down as much as possible. And that is hugely beneficial also. So now you have the what it's roof cleaning. You have the why it's because of the hourly you have the how, which is the advertising. You're changing your efficiency and you're calendarizing everything so you know. That's the tracking side of all those pieces to make it happen. And setting that goal can be anything. Some people say, you know, reach for the stars, but if you get to the moon, you're whatever. Achieve your goals or get to some point that's relatively achievable. If you say, I want to double things in a month, is that achievable? Sure, but you're going to have to be putting in so much work to make that happen that you need to be ready. You can't just say you're going to do it and expect it to happen because it's in a calendar somewhere. That's not the way it works. You have to bring your hustle. You have to bring your A game to make that work, especially when you're going to increase business, right? But you got the focus. That's the first step. And you know what it is. You know why. You know the how. You know the everything. And you know how it is that you're getting there with the calendar, now, if you have a yearly goal where you've increased the focus to that one part, say you're increasing your focus on uh, route, and I want to go for the next year, I want to focus on route. That doesn't mean that you're going to be giving it 90% for an entire year. The rest of your company will fall apart, right? Like I said, you have to focus on something, but yet not lose sight of everything else. But if you're doing an extended focus, then you can only do, say, okay, I'm going to give that 50% of my time to increase it over the next year because it's a longer period. There's going to be stuff that comes up. So the longer the period, the less you can focus on something and still have everything else happen without your company, you know, coming out of this year long focus, all of a sudden your route is amazing, but everything else is falling apart and you just, you lost the rest of your business. That's not good. Um, so that is something to remember the longer the focus the lower the actual focus is going to be now say if you said for one day i'm going to focus a hundred percent you could lose sight of everything for one day focus on something you may not have a huge goal after one day because it's not a lot of time but you have all that focus it's it's kind of potato potato like i always always say it's your business and you can't do anything wrong uh anything you do is right because it's yours that's the point of it so figure out your focus. But here's the other side of things. Now, roof cleaning, we know, is residential. There's not really commercial roof cleaning. There kind of is, but not something you'd want to focus on. There's just not enough asphalt shingled roofs in the commercial world. Again, if you think I'm wrong, let me know. But if you're going to focus on any other service that is multi kind of uh, customer based, right? Say you want to do window cleaning and you say, hey, I'm going to increase my outside window cleaning, right? I've dialed that focus in. Okay, what are you going to do? Well, I want to increase all of it because I want to work more with a waterfed pole. I know it's an easier dollar. It's going to make my life easier. I want to do that. That's what I want to focus on. Great. 
But each of those facets, residential, commercial, and route, are going to be their own focus. You can't focus on just window cleaning on all three of those because they're completely different beasts. We've talked about it. Go back and watch uh, the episode on selling jobs, and you'll see even that is different on every job. But When you focus on some services across the board, you have to find what it is that you are focusing on also. So if you say, hey, I want to do exterior window cleaning. I want to use my waterfall pole. I'm going to go houses. Now you know. The other ones, outside window cleaning is not what you're focused on, right? Is commercial exterior window cleaning sort of the same as uh, residential as far as being able to use water fit equipment and stuff? Yes but it's still different. Don't focus on that unless you want to because the how is completely different. In a residential situation, I can send mailers. I can't do that to commercial. Those big buildings that you're watching, you know, three, four story office buildings that you want to water fed, they look amazing. You know they're going to be comma jobs, right? Job with a comma in it. Great, but you can't send a postcard. You can't door knock. Hey, uh, my name is Jersey. Nice to meet you. I'd love to talk to you about your windows. That's not, it's completely different. So to focus, you got to find the why and then the how, and that how is going to be different on all those platforms. So definitely look at all of the different versions and go out there and make your company how you want it to make. That That's the biggest part of this too, is, is that I know guys who don't do route work. And that's totally cool. Like if you don't do route work, awesome. Again, tell me. I love the conversation. Say, hey, man, I don't do route work either. I'd love to open up the conversation. I personally think that's not great because I love route work. Coming from Wisconsin, um, it's year-round. It's not high hourly, but I can have a crew running. If you could fill two weeks of biweekly jobs, you filled an entire year. Rain, snow, nothing, right? Think of that. That's pretty cool in our industry when nothing else. Can't do that in roof cleaning. Can't do that in commercial. Can't do that in uh, commercial. I guess you could, but it would be longer like every... If you filled up three months worth of work, you fill up a year. So it's really pretty beneficial. So having whatever you decide to go, this is your company. Look at the overall picture of what your empire is going to look like next year, five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. Look at what it's going to look like And that'll help you decide on where your focus are now. Again, make it easier or make more money or strengthen weak parts or get into something that's new. It's completely up to you. Completely. But the focus side of it, that is uh, pretty kind of cut and dry as far as what it's needed and what it's not. So focus and don't lose sight on everything else. And most importantly go to the huge convention. I'm going to be there. I want to say hi. I want to give you a high five. That's what I want to do. Go to thehugeconvention.com, buy a ticket, or call me or text me and be like, I need a ticket. I can put that order in too for you. And if you want to buy your supplies from me, go ahead and call me or text me. Like I said, I text 100 times a day. Text me is always awesome. 862-312-2026. Let me be your rep. That would be amazing. And uh, finally, if you want me to do a second season, I need a thumbs up. If you don't, give me that thumbs down and tell me I suck. I mean, you don't have to tell me I suck, but a thumbs down will let me know enough. But uh, let me know. And here it is, this week's code for your 5% off, if you call it or me. This week's code is WCR. That's this week's code. So... Give me a call, let me know, and uh, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to put an order in for you. Go ahead and go out there and focus. Don't lose sight of everything else. And until next week, go out there and be epic.